Hello, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today you join me as I'm on a, a bit of a half term break down in Cornwall again and this evening I've come down to Botalic Mines in Cornwall uh, just to try and capture uh, the mines or the old tin mines here at Cornwall. Uh, it's an absolutely stunning location. Um, looking at the weather forecast for the rest of the week this evening may well be the, the best opportunity we get for some light. Um, so we've got about that hour, hour and a half till sunset and I'm just now trying to make my way down to the mines or the two mine shafts that I want to photograph. They are an iconic image now, they've been photographed hundreds of times before. Not by me, never done it before. So uh, I'm going to go down and hopefully put my take on a already classic image. Well, that was a bit of a sketchy walk across a narrow footpath there at Botalic, um, but as long as you're sensible, it's, uh, it's fine to come out onto this little uh, cliff top here, just opposite the, the tin mine shafts. As you can see, the sun is starting to set and we are getting some really nice side light um, on the side of the, the, the tin mines here. The first shot is ISO 100. I was at f11 for 1 20th of a second. Uh, that was with no filters at all. Um, 1 20th of a second looks nice. It uh, kind of freezes the water, which is one look, not necessarily the look that I'm after. So I'm thinking about maybe swapping out the 24 to 105 lens for a slightly wider angle and maybe popping in a six stop filter at this stage just to try and drag that shutter a little bit and smooth out the water. Um, but we'll have a look at that shot next. Before this second shot, I am sticking with a 24 to 105. I'm at 24 millimetre, but I have used a circular polarizer and a three stop soft grad. Now the three stop soft grad, I have got at a bit of an angle, as obviously the sun is coming in from the left hand side, um, which is causing a, a, a highlight in the left hand side of the frame. So I've dropped in a, a three stop soft grad to try and control that left hand side. And I'm using a six stop um, little stopper, which gave me a shutter time, a shutter speed of 25 seconds at um, F11 ISO 100. Um, quite like that shot, uh, looks quite nice on the back of the camera, but again, you never really can tell till you get back home again. But yeah, that was, that was a lovely shot that. But for this next shot, um, I actually kept the composition the same. I uh, kept the filter set up the same with the six stop ND filter, the circular polarizer and the three stop grad um, at an angle. All I've done is I've changed the aperture from F11 to F5.6, so I could actually get a slightly quicker shutter speed. Uh, that was um, a shutter speed of eight seconds. Um, and I've just realized actually it's not ISO 100, it's ISO 50 and the last image was ISO 50 as well. So maybe if I bump that back up to 100, uh, we might be all right again. Rookie error. Well, 
Oh, what I've actually done now is I have actually put the ISO to ISO 100. Um, I've had the camera in portrait orientation and I've removed the um, three stop soft grad. Uh, doesn't seem to be a need for that anymore. So I'm still shooting with a circular polarizer and the Lee little stopper. Um, the last shot was ISO 100 F11 and it gave me a shutter time of 15 seconds. Uh, but the light is really changing quick and uh, trying to find multiple compositions is proving quite difficult because you don't really have a lot of time. Uh, I don't really have a lot of time to move around and set up and try things. So I'm kind of pretty much sitting on this one composition at the moment, but uh, I'm going to try switching out lenses and uh, maybe see if I can get in a bit tighter uh, and even a bit wider, but uh, we'll have a go. Well, for this next shot, I have actually swapped out the 24 to 105 for the 17 to 40 mil, and I am shooting at 17 millimeter. Um, I have got the circular polarizer on and a six stop soft grad, uh, sorry, beg your pardon, a six stop ND filter, the little stopper. Give me a shutter speed of 15 seconds at F11 ISO 100. Uh, as I took the shot, the sun actually disappeared behind uh, a cloud, so the, the light dropped, so it's made for quite a dark, moody image looking at it on the back of the um, LCD there. Uh, looks quite nice, but again, never really can tell till you get back home again. If it's any good, I'll, uh, I'll pop it back up on the screen for you now. But uh, yeah, we're about five minutes off the sunset now. There's a little bit of colour just starting to appear, so I'm hoping we might get one or two more images with a bit of colour in. But it's a lovely place down here. Glad I came now. Well, for this next shot now, what I've actually done is removed the circular polarizer. Uh, I think it might just be causing more issues on the wide angle lens with um, you know, the polarization in quite a wide scene in the sky. So I've taken the polarizer out, um, still left myself with the Lee little stopper, the six stop ND filter. And on this occasion, I've dropped in a 0.6, a two stop um, soft grad at an angle. Again, just because there was more light coming in from the left hand side, just trying to control that left hand side. Um, of the image, it's ISO 100, F8 for 15 seconds. Okay, for this image now, I have put the camera in portrait orientation using the 17 to 40 millimeter at 17 millimeter. I still have the six stop little stopper and the two stop soft grad um, and I've actually focus stacked this image I've only taken two images focused on the uh, mines in the background and right on the foreground where you get quite a lot of the uh, the headland in frame and I was trying to get as much of it in focus as I could uh, this was ISO 100 f8 for 15 seconds Well, I think uh, that's about it from uh, Botalic Mines down here in Cornwall. Uh, the sun has dipped below the horizon and as ever the bank of cloud is uh, stopping any real light hitting the side of these mines now. So I think we've had the best of it. Um, it's getting dark. Um, got to head back towards the car park um, before it gets too dark over that sketchy pathway. But um, not a lot of B-roll. But I hope you enjoyed the images anyway. Uh, so thanks very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Give us a thumbs up, give us a like. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers then, take care.